hey, I have some great news for you, pal. You are taking early retirement. Early retirement? I know, right? That means you can go out and play golf and have some hot amps for sex. But I'm too young to have sex. Well, maybe now's your chance to get some. Trust me, it's for the best. Hug me! Hey guys, Gamer here, and welcome to a new show called Sonic Boom Vlogs. So, basically the idea of this series is basically going to be a review of each episode of the Sonic Boom series. So basically, under 5 minutes. That's at least my goal, is to get the review under 5 minutes, so that way it's not as long, like, longer than the episode. Because each episode is only about 11 minutes long. So, without further ado, uh, let's get into the first episode. Sidekick. So basically, um, if you've actually seen the previews of Sonic Boom, some of you might be a little skeptical that it's too childish and all that, but the important thing to keep in mind is that this is definitely a show that's directed towards kids. It's definitely not a show that was meant to be mature or anything like that. It was definitely meant to be a kid's show. Now, in terms of something like, you know, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, it's an awful game, and we all know how awful it is, and even by kids' standards, it's pretty awful. So, how is it that the Sonic Boom television series is actually going to make us think otherwise? Well, after seeing the first episode, um, I might actually consider giving the show a chance, because after seeing the first episode, it's actually quite decent, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I know a lot of people are actually saying it's decent, or it's actually good, and... Now, basically, the idea for these vlogs is that I have to review an episode after I've seen that episode. So, basically, I cannot watch the next episode unless I, re or I do a review or a vlog of the current episode I just watched. Which means I have not watched episode 2 yet. Episode 1 was actually pretty decent, and it actually starts off where you might have actually seen the preview of it, where basically Sonic goes up against Dr. Eggman and Burnbot, who is kind of, um mislead a name because of claws and yet yeah, you may have actually seen the previews and it's actually a pretty awesome preview when it first came out and well some people were pretty like what the hell happened to sonic voice i mean like what, ha what happened to his voice it sounds totally different well if they're concerned about his voice then they obviously have not played sonic colors or sonic generations but anyway basically the trailer basically ends where tails actually crashes because Sonic Adventure, I guess. So when Sonic goes over to actually see if Tails is okay, suddenly his eyes are covered in black makeup for some reason. Yeah, like, Tails thought it would be funny to actually put black makeup on his eyelids before passing out or something. I don't know. Anyway, so Tails wakes up in Sonic's house, and I guess the island that they're on is Bygone Island from the Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, or at least that's what I think. So yeah, basically Sonic fires Tails in order to protect him, and he puts up the auditions to actually find a new sidekick. Now, at first when I read the synopsis for this episode before reading it, I was like, oh god, this is gonna bomb. I mean, Sonic was heartless enough in Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. What makes us think that we're gonna like this Sonic? And when you actually get the mindset that he's trying to protect Tails, it's actually not so bad. So... Oh, thank you, phone. <laughs> so yeah, basically, um, Tails actually sneaks into the audition, and during the audition, you also get... Seriously, phone? During the audition, you also get Amy, and you get Knuckles, and they only appear in, like, two scenes throughout the the episode. And you see Amy being a little foolish, going like, I'm a creature piece of mine, eh? Who juggles and sings? And it's so random, it just comes out of nowhere. So honestly, I can't really say much about Amy until I've actually seen the further episodes. Same thing with Knuckles. I mean, I can't really say much about him either. In fact, he actually tries to make Sonic his sidekick. Phone, are you serious? Stop it. Just... Do you want me to murder you? Seriously? Okay, anyway, um... So you basically get, um... Tails, who sneaks into the audition. You also get Dr. Eggman, who also becomes a candidate, and then Sonic also has a beaver, a uh, fastidious beaver, I think his name is, that also auditions and becomes a candidate. And yeah, fastidious beaver actually does appear in um, 
uh, Rise of Lyric on Bygone Island just before uh, Crater Gorge. Uh, so they all appear on, on a hillside and then Sonic plants a red flag on the mountaintop and it's a, basically a competition between Fastidious Beaver and Dr. Eggman and Tails and to see who will become Sonic's sidekick and you kind of already know where this is going to lead and and you start to understand that, yeah, the reason why Sonic did fire Tails is the reason to protect him and all that. And you got to keep in mind that even though the setup seems a lot, like, really childish and kind of stupid, you just have to keep in mind that it is a kid show. And as far as the episode is, it's, I, again, pretty decent. And for the most part, you think... Uh, I think it does actually have a pretty good payoff ending when um, Sonic does realize that Tails is, you know, his sidekick. I mean, Tails is doing his best no matter um, how hard the circumstance may be. I mean, accidents are going to happen. I mean, he's Sonic Adventure once, twice in this episode, but he still stands up and goes, Sidekicks never give up. I'm going to save you. And that's pretty much, I guess, the moral of the episode or something. Yeah, so... As an 11 minute episode, it's a pretty decent start, that's for sure. I wouldn't say it's anything great, but it was definitely nothing bad. And yeah, Styx, who is the fifth main character of the series, she does not appear in this episode, so I don't know what episode she appears in next, because the second episode, I think Dr. Eggman becomes like the roommate or something. <laughs> I have no idea. And I guess the reason why is because the first episode was really just a... Uh, show the new environment because this is a whole different universe of Sonic with a different personalities and all that. Like Amy does not have a crush on Sonic and really the only character that actually stays faithful to what they were originally like was Dr. Eggman and Tails. Everybody else is completely different. So yeah, as a starter it's pretty good and even though Styx does not appear in this episode, Again, she will definitely make a better debut if she had her own episode later on, rather than just her being in the first episode. So, that's basically my two cents, and I think I'll give this episode a 6 out of 10. So all in all, it's not great, but it's not bad, but as a kid's show, it's pretty decent. And for Sonic fans, I think you might actually admire it for its naive innocence, and... That's pretty much how I kind of saw the first episode, is that it's naive, but innocent. Like, it's obviously directed towards kids, but it doesn't really ruin the experience. Well, it definitely did lead into Rise of Lyric, which was like an awful game. I can definitely say that they seem to be taking the full potential with the TV show over the video game. So, if you like this new um, vlog series, I'll be reviewing um, episode 2 hopefully pretty soon. If you like this new vlog series, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what's your opinion on the episode, and I'll see you guys in the next Super Boom, what the hell, Sonic Boom Vlogs. See you later.